Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make armor and uh, first thing that we're going to need is to get the textures, rename the textures, and then finally edit the textures. So I'm in uh, my 1.12 folder. Um, any version of 1.12 should be fine uh, because it's a solid number and that's what um, Amp Creator is currently on for the mods. Uh, you can use any folder that you wish uh, to, or any version of Minecraft for your textures. It's just um, I'm using 1.12 because that's what uh, most people will probably be using. So once you're in your textures folder of um, your extracted Minecraft, um, I believe it's your assets folder, then what you want to do is go to models, and we're going to need to grab the actual model armor texture. So you. We're just going to use gold for this example. So we're going to copy that. I've already created a folder here. And we're going to paste the, the gold layer 1 and gold layer 2 here. We're going to rename those uh, something different. Uh, making sure you keep the layer 1 and layer 2 parts. So we're just going to call it Ruby. And we're going to call this one Ruby as well. So that's just to make sure that it doesn't override any textures in vanilla Minecraft. So it's always good to make sure that you change the name when you're creating a new texture or importing it from a, a older, like a vanilla item or something like that. So once we have that, uh, we need a couple more things. We actually need the item textures. So we'll go back and we'll go back into items or our main textures folder and then go into items. And since we're using gold, we'll go gold and all the gold items should come up. So we're just going to select our boots, chest plate, helmet, and leggings. And we're going to copy these and we're going to open up our other folder and we're going to place them in here and of course we're going to need to rename them again so ruby and we need to rename the helmet ruby so once you have all that set up um, what you can do is edit the textures i suggest starting with uh like the items and working your way up there um now with the texture editor uh, the easiest one that I have found to use it's not that hard to edit I've been using I have used a little bit of GIMP but I usually use that as a alternative for certain file types that a paint.net can't export to like uh, DLLs files and stuff like that but I do actually use it um, sometimes but I prefer using paint.net just because it's a little bit easier for beginners to learn and that I've been using it for quite a long time. So once you're in here, uh, what you want to do is just, I don't know, play around with your textures. You have your color palette over here. Um, you can also save your own color palettes and stuff. I'm, I have my own preset here that I made. And uh, you can just texture it just a little bit differently. And once you're happy with it, um, you can just save it and then you can basically uh, go over to file save and you want to keep it the same name so save you could also just hit save and it would do fine too so once you do that to all your textures um, then you can unpause the video and uh, we can continue into amp creator so once you have your textures, what you want to go to is resources on your workshop and you want to import and then there's uh, import armor texture. So you can click that and you'll have your layer one and layer two down here. So what we want to do is go back to our desktop. We'll be making redstone armor today. I uh, know I did Ruby, but um, that was just to show you what you could do. Uh, so we go to armor on our desktop. We'll select our layer one now only the particular layer that needs to be imported for that section will show up So it needs to actually have the underscore layer underscore one under or after your actual texture name So we'll click open and then we'll select our layer two 
and we'll click open and then we can click OK. So that will show up there now. Now we need to import our item textures, which is this item um, import item texture right here. It has a little diamond icon now. So then we'll go and import our boots and then we'll import our chest plate and our helmet and finally our leggings. So once you have all that, what we need to do is we need to actually create our armor. So if we go back to mod elements and then click uh, the plus sign for add element and then we go and select armor, we can call it what we want for our mod element name. Now this isn't the name that will be shown, this is just the name for the mod ID. So red stone armor. Uh, make sure there's no spaces. And then what we want to do is we want to add our textures. So your helmet will go here, your body or your body armor, and then your leggings and your boots. And then what you want to do is this is for the creative tab um, or not the creative tab, the actual overlay. So what you want to do is call it red stone or whatever type of armor you're making. Oh and you want to do this for everyone. Chest plate and leggings and red stone boots. So once you have all that set up, uh, move to the next page. Now this is where you import your armor um, texture so what you want to do is select that and then it will import your imported texture. Uh, the configuration uh, so your creative tab here is what tab it's going to be under. Combat is for your swords, armor, and weapons um, like I think axes are under tools but like arrows and stuff like that are all under combat so by default it's under combat unless you have uh, say your own creative tab and then you want to maybe put it under there. Uh, minimum damage that the armor can absorb. Um, so I think what this does is um, the durability of the item. So yeah, so what you want to do is kind of increase this maybe just a little bit. Um, say from 50 might be a little bit stronger and damage values so this is um, the amount of damage per item so this would be your helmet uh, this is how much damage values the actual strength of the armor is so when you're on your hotbar in your um, inventory it shows how much um, armor you have uh, this is relative to what this is, so every time you put a chest plate or say a helmet on, it would act as say two, or your boots would act as two. Uh, what you want to actually have it go up to is ten, so I think ten, five, six, maybe not. Um, I think it's half, half heart, so it would be twenty. So ten. 11, 12, so if we wanted it to go to, say, 5, or, there we go, so that should just add that there, remove that one, okay, so this should be a full armor set. So if we go to enchantability, this is how Good the enchantments are on these this armor we'll leave it at nine uh, toughness this is um, what our diamond armor uses um, its default is two it just adds some extra strength to it so if we set it to 1.0 I'll show you what that means so if we hop after that and click next page uh, you can set the 
events to or the uh, procedures uh, that you wish for each uh, type of um, component. So for helmets, body armor, leggings, and boots, uh, if you want to add some extra uh, functionality to it, then you can do it here. You can click next and then we'll hop in game in just a second and uh, show you how everything works. So once we're in game, oh, what we can do is go to our combat tab here and we'll scroll down and all the items will be here. So we're going to grab all these. Um, now in order to see the durability of the item, you can hit F3 and I believe it's H. So advanced tool, pit, uh, tool tips will be shown. Um, as you can see here, um, it gives you some information on the extra values and stuff like that. So if we go here and put it on us, and we'll go game mode zero. As you can see, it's actually it's not exactly full, is it? So if we clear this. Uh, we don't have a full armor set, um, so we would need to increase it by an additional four uh, on, say, I don't know, body armor or something like that. Uh, game mode, oh no, and then we go to combat, why did my helmet not get added? So, there we go. So now we have a full armor set. All right, so now we should probably find some enemies to test this armor out on. So game mode. Now we could always do some creepers. Okay, so game mode zero. Uh, we should have probably grabbed a weapon, but that's okay. Hi there. Okay, so our armor value for the items, as you can see here, um, we have 800 on the chest plate, 550 for the helmet, 650 for the um, the boots. So basically, adding on to the number will add additional. Um, additional digits to the actual armor durability. So if we go back into M Crater, we'll just sit, quickly save this and we'll open up our red redstone armor. Whoop. And so adapt additional numbers here will basically add on to the durability count. So you could, I believe, if we set this to zero, we can't remove the max strength of it, but um, we can set it to zero. So the durability is at a certain period. And uh, the toughness is just basically how strong the armor is. Um, I think diamond just has the only toughness to it. It's like an additional buffer to the actual armor so it doesn't uh, get damaged as much. So hopefully you guys found that useful. If you have any questions, you can post on the M Creator forums and ask for help there. Um, outside of that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and peace out.